or any event. Let us find out how to um, use Kramer's rule to solve a system um, that is a uh, that has three variables. Okay, so a three a three equation, three variable system. And let's talk about this one right here. Um, let's say I have a system x plus y plus z. Now I've done a couple of them where I use Kramer's rule with a two variable system, two equations, two variables. Pretty straightforward. All right, not too bad. Now here we're going to try solving this. Um, with three variables. Now it is very, very similar, all right? Very similar how we're going to do this. Um, but let's go through and set this up, all right? We got 11 here. So we have x, y, and z, all right? x, y, and z, three variables, and so let's this. Now, in using Kramer's rule, we're going to look to solve this. Now we can solve this many different ways, all right? Um, yield elimination, substitution, like all the other ones. Out of Kramer, we're going to solve this just like we did. Um, with the other variable. We're going to take our x. We're going to find the determinant. Okay, determinant. Um, determinant is the process of finding the matrices. We're going to set up our matrix. Oops, I tried well, my coefficient matrix. But find our A matrix. Our A matrix is going to be the coefficient matrix. So once again, coefficient coefficient matrix. And we have a 1, a 1, a 1, and a Oops, not there. <laughs> that's it. A 1, and 1, and 1 for that one. Um, we're going to have our other ones to be 3, negative 3, and 2. Um, we have negative 1, 2, and negative 2. And so what we have here is we have a coefficient matrix of x, we have x's, we have the y's, we have the z's, and then we have the s's for the solution. Okay. So what we're next going to do is we're going to find x, y, and z. To do that, we're going to find and we're going to take the solutions, all right, column. And we're going to replace that with the x column of our coefficients matrix right here. So what we're going to have is s, and then we're going to put y and z. All right. So what we have here then is going to be uh, s is going to be negative 8, negative 21, and 11. Our y's are 1, negative 3, and 2. And z's are going to be 1, 2, and negative 2. We are then going to find this determinant and divide it by the determinant of matrix or coefficient matrix A. We're going to go through and do the same thing for y and z. So if you want to set up y, I'm going to make y a little bit different. Same thing. We're going to have our x solution and then our z and so on and so forth. So we're going to have our x, which is 1, 3, and negative 1. Solutions, which we know is going to be negative 8, negative 21, and 11. And then we have our z column, which is 1, 2, and negative 2. All right, we're going to take this once again and divide it by our determinants of A matrix. Then we have our final one, which is going to be Z. All right, Z. Do Z, we're going to once again replace the Z with our solution. So X and Y will be the same. So we'll have X, which we know is going to be 1, 3, and negative 1. We have our y, which we know is 1, negative 3, and 2. Once again, these are coefficients. And then the s, we know is negative 8, negative 21, and 11. All right. And then we'll take all this and divide it by, once again, the determinant of a. Now, I'm going to show you how to use your calculator to figure this out. All right. Um, in a little bit. And what we have here is um, just kind of review how to find the determinant of 3 by 3s. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to find the determinant of A. And we'll find that one, and I'll find the other ones um, using our calculator. So I'll show you how to use that in PI. So in order to find the determinant of A 3 by 3, what we're going to do is we're going to take the first two columns, which is 1, 3, and negative 1. We're going to take 1, negative 3, and 2. And we're going to go through the process of finding our determinant. So we're going to multiply these two together. Um, and that's going to equal 6. We're going to add that to the product. I'm going to take, yeah, we did. All right, right here, I got to make sure I see that one in there. Okay, there we go. One times two times negative one, which is going to be negative two. I'm going to add that to this other one, and then we have the same thing like so. All right, one times three times two is going to give us six. We're then going to take this and subtract, all right, when we take our opposite one. So we're going to go over here, we're going to take this. Here. So negative 1 times 3, which times 1 is going to give you 3, plus, now we're going to take this one right here, 2 times 2 times 1 is 4, that's probably should be just y a little bit, there we go, 
And then we're going to have plus one more uh, negative 2 times 3 times 1, which is going to be negative 6. Uh, okay. So from here, what we do is we add these up, find our determinants. So in this case, it's going to be um, 6, 12, 10, minus, and here's going to be negative 2, 1. And so we have an answer of 9, I believe that will be. All right. Uh, make sure. 7, 1, 1, and uh, and it's going to equal 9, yes. So that's our determinant. So each one of these is going to be over 9. All right. Over 9. And then we can go over 9 as well. All right. Well, the process after this is very lengthy, and I'm running out of room right here. So to help us out a little bit, what we're going to do is we're going to use a calculator. All right, we're going to use a calculator to help us figure this out. So I'm going to pause this and get my calculator ready and get everything set up to solve these using our calculator and find the determinant of each of the x, the y, and the z right here. So I'm going to show you that. So it's going to be like three seconds, probably for you. It's going to be instant. And we're back. Oh, wow, you're probably looking at it and say, wow, look at that. It's a little new. Yeah. Because we're going to use our calculator to help us solve it. So I'm going to find over here what is the determinant of this 3 by 3. All right. So I'm going to start with x right there. You can see. So in order to do that, we're going to go to second all right, matrix, our second inverse right here. And we're going to edit. Okay. And we're going to create a 3 by 3 function. All right. So I have one already in there, but I'm going to create one. So I'm going to call that A. I'm going to put in negative 8. So now I'm going to enter in into here all the values. So 1, then go 1. And just make sure you do this correctly. Negative 21. And then we have negative 3. And 2. And we have 11. We have 2. And negative 2. And you can probably see this. And I don't know if I'll go through every single one. But what we have right there is now we have our matrix entered. Once you have this, you're going to second click. And now we're going to go back to matrix. All right, which is right there at our inverse. And we're going to go over to math. And we're going to do is the DET. DET means the determinant. We're going to take the determinant of which matrix. It is matrix A. So that's the first one we started with. And we're going to close this and press enter. And it finds out we're going to equal negative all right, 45. So we're going to put negative 45 in here. Well, in doing so, we realize that 9 goes to negative 45 five times. So what did we just find out? We found out that, yes, one of our solutions is, you guessed it, X equals negative 5. Okay, and X equals negative 5. That's one of our solutions. And now we have to do the same thing for the next one. So we go to second matrix. And I'll go down to B. I'll go to edit. And we'll change it up. We'll go to B. Press enter. You probably could use A again if you wanted to. But I'll put it in a different one. So we got 1. We have negative 8. We have 1. All right, make sure you put in everything incorrectly. Because if you don't, guess what? Kind of get a wrong answer here. All right, two. If you follow at home, you probably pausing this right now. Going, what are you doing? Yeah, I don't. I already got this. So probably a few people are going to be watching this entire thing. If you are, thank you for coming along with me. All right. So once again, same thing. Second clip. And now we're going to find the uh, matrix determinant of the matrix math determinant right there. And now we're going to get matrix B here in action. So we find matrix B. All right, press enter, and we find it zero. Oh, man, zero. So we put zero right there. So we just find, well, zero over nine is, yes, you guessed it, zero. So we found out that y, y is going to equal zero. y equals zero. y equals zero. And we have one more. We just got to figure what z is. All right, so if you go over here, I'll take a matrix, go to edit. Let's put this one in for c. Probably can put it in a, probably see the last time. You've come this far, why not, right? All right, so uh, we have our value. Let's put it again. Put it down. There we go. Okay. And we're going to put in our last one. So we're looking at this one right here, our Z matrix. All right. And we're going to take one, press enter, and we got one. And we have negative eight, negative three, negative three, negative 21, negative one. Two and eleven. Boom. All right. So I can quit. Get our math. Get our. Oops. So I can go in and do that. Quit. Get out of here. Okay. Do that. And let's go into our matrix. Find the math. Get the determinant. 
And then we want to get our matrix C. Right, right. Negative 27. We put negative 27 here, and we find that's going to equal Z equals negative 3. So we have Z equals negative 3. There's our last part, and that is our solution to our system. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, so going through here, you could have found the same thing in finding matrix A determined by using your calculators, but I wanted to show you once again how we use finding the matrix. And if you want to do it by hand, you can do the same thing for each one of these, this one and this one, all right, and this one. But I use the calculator, so a bunch of different tips on how to use Kramer's rule to solve a um, three variable system. So I hope this helps you out. Good luck. God bless on the rest of your great job.